morning ladies and gentlemen I'm EG69 and welcome back to channel today we are going to be looking at this little tank here the little flea the cockroach the E25 with whatever you want to call it uh, and it's back for sale very good tank very very good tank indeed very good fun uh, great fun and it's a tier 7 tier 7 tank destroyer uh, with actually good, uh, really good DPM. So we're going to have a look, quick look at uh, the stats of it. So it has no armor. It has absolutely no armor whatsoever. In fact, you've got 50 mil on your front plate, 30 on your sides, and 30 on your rear. Uh, view range 253. Uh, very good uh, camo. Uh, DPM is exactly 3,000 DPM. Reload is 3.2. Uh, your average penetration 194 on your APCR, 250 on your heat, and 20 on your HE. So your heat, your HE, is shockingly bad. But it's only a small gun, so it's not going to be great. Um, you do 160 damage on your APCR, 135 on your heat and 200 on your HE. Aim time very good at 2.5 and the dispersion is very, very good at 0.272. And it also has a lovely 10 degrees of gun depression. And if that's all not enough, it has 65 kilometers an hour speed. So it's a very good tank. It's, uh, it's, it's fun. You can really have fun in this and you can really dish out the damage and get on people's nerves, which is why they call it the little flea. Uh, so we're gonna have a look at uh, a couple of battles uh, for you, uh, just to see if you enjoy the tank, if it looks enjoyable, if you haven't already got it. So first battle, we're gonna be watching Shadow E Illusion, and we are in a tier eight battle. Now, he's gonna do a great job uh, in this battle, and. I don't know how he's going to pull off the win, uh, but he does. I mean, it's not uh, an ace battle or anything, but it does go to show how good and how strong this tank in the, the correct position can actually be. Now, he is just blind firing the TD spot uh, from behind this bush, which is fine. The re he's not exactly, it's, you're not going to suffer on the reload. 3.2 second reload, it's nothing. Um, with such a reload it is absolutely great uh, for perma tracking tanks and this is why it gets so annoying because of, because of the reload you can really really annoy people uh, and you can really frustrate them so much uh, into raging um, if you can get uh, a non turreted tank destroyer and you can just perma track them it's so frustrating it really is frustrating not if you're the one doing it it's so much fun it really is so much fun now i'm not sure exactly how much this tank is coming back for i mean it's been for sale uh, quite a few times it's been out quite a while um, so i'm not sure if it's going to be for gold or if it's going to be for money or or what we at the moment we i don't know the moment of recording this video uh, I'm not sure on the price of the tank um, but so I can't really tell you if the tank is worth getting until I know what the price is however if you do buy this tank it's you're gonna get a nice tank now this over the years has actually been buffed it, it I would say buffed it's been changed it used to have AP as its standard ammunition and it used to have I think it was APCR as its uh, premium ammunition. Uh, Wargaming, and it was absolutely fine. The tank was still absolutely fine, um, but Wargaming decided to change it. They wanted to give it APCR on its main ammunition, uh, the standard, and they decided to give it heat as its premium, which was welcomed. It was really welcomed uh, for this tank. Now, the best way to play this tank is to camp, to sit at the back, uh, unspotted and dealing damage every 3.2 seconds saving your hit points I mean you don't have a great number of hit points uh, 1000 um, but you've got no armor so that does go down pretty quickly 
but what is good about this tank is in these kind of situations. When there is a low hit point enemy team, you can really rush it. And I mean, fair enough, that challenger wasn't the greatest, uh, but he's just taking him out almost at full health without losing a single hit point. And he does get very lucky there, only getting tracked from the IS-5. So this battle, it's now three against four. It's three against four. There are still two tier eights left, and they are IS-6s and IS-5s who can really deal damage to, especially to this tank. Um, unfortunately, what I couldn't show you, what I would love to be able to show you, is what makes this tank so much fun and if you can get enemy tanks like uh, exp something big maybe a, not quite a t-34 uh, tiger 2 tanks like that if you can get behind them because of this tank is so low you can actually get under their gun uh, face hug them and they can't get their gun down enough to be able to shoot you and when that happens, it's amazingly. It is just seeing, uh, just seeing them trying to wiggle out the way to try and get a, a shot off is just absolutely amazing. Uh, but unfortunately, we can't actually, we haven't got any footage of that. Um, tanks like, big tanks like um, the Tier 7, uh, not the Edelweiss, the, the two made-up tanks, Predator, the Predator, uh, and the Vindicator, um, if you can get under them, it's they can't do absolutely anything whatsoever. Now, he gets very lucky this battle, 4 HP, the Bulldog on 3 HP, and he does manage to, to pick up the win there. 32,000 credits, 2,800 damage, he did have to fire some heat uh, for the IS tanks, uh, but still a great uh, win. So next up we're going to watch Death by Destruction and he's not going to play it as I should say you should play it uh, where you are camped at the back um, dealing damage from far away get the hit points of the enemy team low and then rush. He is just going to rush and fair play to him. He 3.2 second reload and he's going to go with his mediums and he's going to deal damage because he's not going to be really focused at. Now, that VK30 there, he's decided to, to sit up on a hill and he's actually paid the price. And he's now on 29 damage, not even 30 seconds on the clock. And he's got 29 damage left. Um, but they are one tank down. And now he's going to sit behind his mediums, which is fantastic. Don't let the enemies face you. Don't let them target you. Use your DPM, and if that means to sit behind your mediums, then you can sit behind your mediums and dish out the damage. So it's now two tanks down, one from the enemy, uh, but the enemy ELC has decided that that's not a great position for him now. Um, he gets a couple of lucky misses there, uh, especially from this enemy tank as well, and now Death by Destruction again. Again, another miss, but Death by Destruction does manage to take him out. So, 1,400 from the uh, E25, and he's only lost not even 200 hit points. But there's still a lot of hit points to get through. It's now a 4 versus 4. They are losing on uh, Supremacy points, but there is a very low hit point 88. That's uh, pretty much a one-shot, so if he can get behind there, he can get the gun advantage. But the KV-2... A perfect tank to, to focus just shot his gun which means there is now nothing the KV-2 can can do and now he's gonna go and focus the 88 which will bring it now down to uh, a 4 on 2 so he's on 3 kills 2k damage uh, there's just the KV-3 and the KV-1S he does take a nasty shot there which now he's taken two shots and he is a one shot but this is where this tank becomes very good. As I've said, this he can back up, and this is just a tiny hill, just a tiny hill. But because of the size of the tank, it mean he meant he can actually hold down, and it, he can actually hide in that hill. And now there is just the KV-1S left. He's going to rush him 
he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna ram him and he's gonna get him gone so five kills 3.2k damage uh, and he gets the mastery badge so that is the e25 I'm not sure if it comes with the number one camo, which was only supposed to be for sale for the first birthday of Blitz. And then Wargaming went to sell it uh, again. So I'm not sure how much the tank is worth. I'm not sure how much it's coming for. But if you do buy it, you're getting a fun little tank. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I'm EG69, and I'll catch you soon.